Anyway, welcome everyone. And uh, we're recording this and and um, what we'd like to do, Dustin, and I'd like to take just a few minutes, go over some of the options that you have here, uh, in particular for military people and, um, and the options that we provide at K-State, pathways that we provide uh, to teaching at K-State. And then we'll open it up for any questions that any of you uh, might have. Feel free to use the chat feature uh, and, um, Dustin and I will monitor uh, chat if you have uh, questions, and um, and again we'll we'll try to to spend maybe just about thirty minutes going over the program, and then um, uh, we'll take any questions. By the way, this gentleman here is a graduate of K State. He's a teacher now in Garden City, Kansas. His name's Blake Freeman. He's a veteran, and. Um, and if you look up Blake Freeman on YouTube, uh, there's a little three minute video about his story of transitioning from uh, the Navy, actually he was in the Navy uh, to uh, teaching and um, great guy, great teacher. And again, uh, similarly situated to uh, many of you folks. So again, 30 to 45 minutes of presentation, 15, 10, 15 minutes uh, for questions. And uh, then we'll, we'll go from there. So um, first of all, we like to start with why teaching? You know, you, all of you, when you separate from the military, you have uh, lots of, of choices uh, in terms of how you want to continue uh, down a career path. And, and we think that uh, there's a natural connection between uh, your experience uh, as a veteran, as a member of the military, and uh, teaching. And in fact, Blake Freeman and many other people that have been through the program uh, were once upon a time uh, active duty or uh, National Guard or reservists. And, um, and uh, there's a, a lot of really good connections between your military service and, and teaching. First of all, um, you know, you have, uh, you all have been driven uh, to a higher purpose uh, as military veterans. Um, you signed up for the military. By the way, I was in the military. I was in the Navy. Uh, Dustin, you were in the Army, I believe. And uh, so we both have military uh, background. And, um, and, and by nature, I think people that go into the military uh, have sort of the bigger picture in, in mind. And, um, and so do teachers, right? Uh, teachers motivate and maximize learning for uh, kids. And, um, you know, just like uh, protecting and defending uh, our country, which is a high purpose, uh, motivating and maximizing learning for the next generation is also uh, a very high purpose. Veterans make great teachers, you know, uh, it depends obviously on, on, on what your job was in the military, what kinds of skills that you have. But I think across the military, uh, veterans uh, have excellent leadership skills, excellent personal, interpersonal skills. They have a sense of uh, community, uh, teamwork. They uh, exercise great judgment. And then I just left uh, the, the rest blank for you to fill in kind of the blanks for your own particular uh, service. What you know? What else did you do uh, in your um, in your service that uh, might make the transition to uh, teaching? And I'm sure there's lots of things. Um, we also like to talk about some of the just the general uh, things that go along with uh, teaching. It's a great work environment. You know, you can say a lot of things about teaching, but you can't say that it's dull or boring. Uh, it's a it's a great work environment with great you're around great people, uh, family friendly uh, work schedule. Uh, there's a lot of jobs available across the United States and in Kansas. Um, average salary is getting better all the time, and it's still not great, but it's it's getting better. And by the way, uh, we'll send you this PowerPoint, and all these things are linked. So if you wanted to see the where I pulled these stats from, you can, uh, you can see them, but uh, there's always a demand for great teachers and that demand uh, is high right now. And if you're, if you're good 
And, you know, again, most of our uh, uh, veterans that make the transition to teaching are good. I mean, you have uh, so, uh, some skill sets and some maturity and so forth that make you uh, really desirable. You, you'll find jobs. It's also portable. Uh, a teaching license is portable between states. Uh, once you have a Kansas teaching license, which is what you would be earning uh, here at K-State, once you have a Kansas teaching license, that license is portable to uh, other states. And if you wanna know how portable or how to transfer a Kansas license to another state, uh, we have resources on our website. We also have uh, Di Murphy, uh, who's in charge of uh, licensing here at K-State and she can uh, answer any questions you have about uh, transferability or portability. There's also vertical mobility in teaching. You know, um, Once you have some experience as a teacher, you might uh, want to transition to become a principal, a vice principal, uh, do something like Dustin and, and I do, which is work at a university, uh, go into business. Uh, I mean, there's lots of skills that you gain through teaching that are applicable uh, in other uh, venues uh, in, inside of education uh, or even outside of education. Uh, people don't realize it, but we spend $700 million a year on education, K through 12 education in the United States. It's a bigger part of our government's budget than anything on a given year, except for, and when I say governments, I mean local, state, and federal combined, except for servicing the debt and uh, the military. Uh, and so um, those are the only two things that we spend more money on uh, than education. So there's lots of dollars floating around out there for uh, people uh, with uh, education degrees and, and backgrounds. And finally, when you're a teacher, you know, um, my, my room was D-132 at Lincoln Southeast High School in Lincoln, Nebraska, and I was the king of D-132, and, uh, and I was free to decide how best to make the 130 or so students that I had every year, uh, how to bring U.S. history and civics and government and U.S. foreign policy and, and uh, basic academic skills, I taught all those things, how to bring that to life. Uh, for my students. That was my domain, and uh, very few jobs offer the kind of, uh, of freedom and creativity uh, that that teaching uh, does. I'm go going to let uh, Dustin say a few words about uh, some of the, the, the military uh, aspects of, of things that we have. I'll just say, uh, quickly say that uh, at K-State, we have two main online uh, pathways to teaching. One is our undergraduate online Bachelor of Science. Uh, the other is our uh, graduate Master of Arts in Teaching. And uh, we've had veterans in both uh, programs. And um, I'll just let um, Dustin say just a word about um, how your military background might count towards uh, some hours at, at K-State. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Vance, uh, and, and, and very well said on, on the other points. And, you know, I made the exact transition that, that you all are possibly thinking about and, and taught for, for a lot of years. And, you know, it, it was rewarding being in the military, but then to also go into a career of teaching and finding the reward and, and kind of keeping that purpose going from, from leading soldiers to then having a purpose in, I taught, I taught special education and sort of being that advocate for those, those students, it really kind of was, it was very fulfilling, um, like, like the military would be. So, you know, the thing about your military experiences is, is that you've already built a, a great pathway into teaching. And I, and I know, you know, there's so many connections that I found and, you know, you need to be rewarded for that. And one of the ways that that can happen is that you can receive credit for some of the things that you've done in the military. And part of that is through the, G, they call it the, JST is a Joint Service Military Transcript, and if and maybe you've heard of that, maybe you haven't. But basically, what that is is that you know we are able to review your transcript, uh, your military transcript, and see what is going to count. Is there things that you did to where you already can get credit for those those undergraduate classes? You know that saves that saves saves you time, that saves you money on what uh, on, on trying to to seek that degree. So. 
the BSO is only elementary. However, for those of you, I've had a lot of folks inquire of me about like, well, I'd like to teach math or I'd like to teach history. You can test into those subjects. So going into, do you want me to do the MAT as well, Dr. Vaughn? Or do you want to do that? Well, you, yeah, you, uh, I can uh, pick up the MAT. I'll turn things back over to you in just a second here. Uh, I run the uh, Master of Arts in Teaching program and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, what you, if you already have an undergraduate degree and many of our veterans do. Uh, by the way, a, a lot of veterans, you know, for example, I was down at Whitman Air Force Base and uh, a couple of years ago and most of the the um, enlisted uh, folks that I talked to have their associate's degree through the uh, Air Force. Uh, mo most of the associate's degrees, uh, lots of those hours transfer into the uh, uh, online um, undergraduate Bachelor of Science uh, degree. And um, so uh, for, our, uh, for our undergraduate uh, online degree, if you have uh, credit hours already from the military or you have uh, an associate's uh, degree already, most of those credit hours uh, can count. Now, if you already have your undergraduate degree in something, and it can be in anything, by the way, uh, for elementary, um, uh, and, uh, and you want to be a teacher, an elementary teacher, uh, then that's a, that's a really good pathway. We'll talk more about it. But we have both elementary and secondary in the Graduate Master of Arts and Teaching program. And the secondary subject areas are English language arts, social studies, foreign language, and mathematics. We also have ag agricultural education. I didn't put that one in there, but uh, we do have that uh, as well. And, and again, just like with the undergraduate degree, um, if you're elementary uh, and you wanted to teach something else, say you wanted to teach science or something, uh, a secondary subject that we don't have, biology or chemistry or something, uh, you can get your elementary uh, teaching license and then test into uh, the, the appropriate secondary uh, license. This online Bachelor of Science, once you have your general education requirements, the undergraduate degree is usually about uh, 24 months. Uh, the, uh, the online Master of Arts and Teaching degree where you earn a master's degree and teacher certification, uh, that's uh, actually 11 months and it's a cohort model. It begins uh, uh, every May and ends uh, in April of the next year. So uh, why K-State? Again, uh, we uh, created these online programs with our students in mind. And, um, and so what are the things that students really want? They want a, they want a pathway uh, that uh, is not going to take a, a lot of time. And the BSO, again, if you already have your associate's degree uh, and some military experience, it's going to be 24 months uh, or less. And the MAT, those of you who already have an undergraduate degree, it's actually 12 months, uh, 11 months actually, and, or, or, and uh, begins uh, mid-May and ends in uh, mid-April. Mid both, uh, uh, both programs are 100% online, they're convenient. All the courses are asynchronous. In other words, uh, you, um, you don't all have to log in at uh, a certain time every day. Um, and you student teach uh, and learn to teach in local schools, uh, wherever you're at. And, and we have uh, students in both programs uh, all over the United States. I think at last count, we were up to 35 or 36 states uh, that uh, we served uh, through our online programs at, at K-State in, in education. Um, personalized, both programs are personalized to um, uh, to each student in the MAT, we assign you a grad cat, cat who's a master teacher who takes you from uh, the beginning of class uh, when you sign up at K-State through the end. Uh, in the undergraduate program, if you're a veteran, uh, we also assign you uh, a, a veteran who's also an educator, uh, somebody like Dustin, uh, who will uh, serve as your mentor, coach, and evaluator from uh, the beginning of the program and, and until the end. We don't just leave you uh, hanging out there um, as an island unto yourself, uh, but you'll always have a place to go. In fact, I even give out 
uh, my uh, personal cell phone uh, number and encourage students to uh, call me whenever they, they have a problem. Uh, again, I've talked a little bit about license transfer already. Uh, people want to be a part of a quality uh, program. K-State, uh, our online uh, MAT program is rated uh, number 17 uh, by US News and World Report. Our just online uh, education programs in general are rated number 24 by US News and World Report. And of course, there are hundreds of uh, programs uh, throughout the United States. Um, you know, one of the things I think that separates us from other places is that um, while we uh, try to personalize and individualize every student's experience, uh, we also attract this really diverse uh, group of students. Uh, you know, you'll join uh, more than 200 people. Should you choose Case 8, you'll join more than 200 people learning uh, to teach uh, through Kansas State University online. Uh, and many of them hold undergraduate degrees in diverse fields. Many of them uh, have a significant experience in the military, uh, such as your, uh, yourself. Uh, finally, um, a, a, a last couple of comments are um, in terms of uh, cost, a lot of programs when they're giving you a pitch like we're giving you uh, this pitch today, they don't talk about uh, tuition. We put it on whatever this is, the third slide. Uh, tuition is reasonable. I mean, shop around. Uh, you'll see that um, you know $510.60 per credit hour, and that's for both in-state and out-of-state tuition uh, for the MAT, uh, for the master's degree. And for the um, undergraduate uh, program, it is uh, even uh, less expensive than that. I didn't put that. Uh, particular uh, credit amount on here, but I know it's less than that. So just as an example, the MAT, the total program costs $15,828. And uh, again, if you shopped around, you, you could do the this uh, a similar program at another university. I won't throw anyone under the bus, but uh, there are other MAT programs out there that are very similar to ours. Uh, that cost uh, $55,000, $60,000. Uh, we also uh, offer a new uh, residency program uh, where you can actually, uh, in, in the MAT, uh, where you can uh, actually um, uh, be a teacher of record and also go through the MAT student uh, or MAT program at the, at the same time. But even more importantly, for veterans, uh, Dustin, you want to say a word or two about the skills bridge? Sure. So the, if, you're, if you're a transitioning veteran and you have to go through those usual last uh, sometimes four months where you're in that final duty station, through the skill bridge program, you are able to apply for 180 days of what an internship, basically. So before you are officially out of the military, 100 days, 180 days before, which would be a student internship, uh, you're able to use that time, go through that internship during that, and then when you're, and be still being paid through the military, and then when you're done, you're a certified teacher and you're ready to apply for jobs. So that's fantastic. You know, that is, you know, most of our traditional interns, they, you know, they can't work during student teaching, so they don't have a paycheck and everything. But to be able to do that and look through the skill bridge program to where you can continue to be, you know, basically employed and getting your paycheck and internshipping for your next career is fantastic. I just wanted to add real quick as well. You're talking about comparing, you know, trying to compare us, but comparing us to others is Kansas State's been around since 1863. College of Ed's been around since 1964. This is not a website that just went up and started selling degrees. We, we have legitimate programs with legitimate people. The creator of the MAT is on this Zoom call and he's offering his personal cell phone to call in. So, you know, we, we take care of our students and, uh, and we care about our students. We want them to have a good experience. Okay, uh, I'm not going to go, we're not going to go over all every uh, class that uh, is required, but I thought that you might like to get a, a look at the curriculum. And so in our undergraduate BSO, 
these are the general education uh, requirements. Again, uh, most often uh, people take these uh, credits outside of Kansas State. They bring those in with them, uh, whether through their military experience or their associate's degree or uh, whatever, but they they um, they they generally do this uh, do complete these before coming to K State. Then while they're at K State, they complete these professional uh, courses. Uh, and again, um, the BSO is for uh, the elementary K six uh, teacher, and, um, and 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 so all of these courses uh, are designed uh, to help you think about your role as a teacher in some uh, particular way, whether it's uh, from uh, considering kind of the philosophy and history uh, and foundations of education uh, to um, uh, looking at uh, various ways to teach science uh, in the elementary school uh, or how to reach uh, culturally and linguistically uh, diverse uh, learners. Um, all of these uh, classes are designed with the, the same thing in mind, which is to uh, provide you with um, perspectives, insights, ideas, guidelines uh, that you can use to uh, interpret and analyze and evaluate and ultimately act uh, in the classroom. I mean, that's what teachers do. Uh, I mean, we're all the time, um, you know, we're on stage, you know, in, in essence for six hours a day. And, um, and you have a plan in mind how those six hours are going to go. But then you've got 130 uh, kids um, in the case of a high school teacher or uh, you know, you've got your own uh, 25 kids in the case of an elementary uh, school teacher, and you've got all the things that are happening in the school that are going to cause you to have to adjust whatever that plan was that you started the day with. And, um, and sometimes it's things out of your control, uh, like uh, a fire drill. Uh, or uh, those kinds of things, or somebody, uh, you know, needing to go to the bathroom or whatever. Uh, but then sometimes uh, things happen in the context of a class and, and you've got to make decisions about what you're going to do. Uh, you know, somebody um, asks, a student asks a, a really great question, uh, but, but it causes you to deviate from whatever it is that you planned on doing. Uh, or things just aren't going the way that you thought that they would, and um, and you need to do, you need to make the decision to do something else. Uh, well, all of these classes and all these experiences and all of uh, these discussions um, uh, provide you with a way of again sort of interpreting and evaluating and. Uh, and ultimately judging and acting uh, in the classroom. And, um, and that's really what separates, I think, uh, great teachers from, from not so great uh, teachers is, is having the ability, ha first of all, having a framework of ideas, uh, a really good, well-developed framework of ideas that these kinds of classes are going to help you develop and then practicing uh, application of those ideas to your particular environment, to your particular set of kids, to your particular uh, context. And that's really what great teaching is. Great teaching is not just following a script. Great teaching is uh, being able to be adaptable, uh, flexible, and, uh, and having a, a clear understanding of, of what your purpose is. Uh, and uh, in the Master of Arts in Teaching program, uh, it's, it's pretty much the same thing, only um, in a really reduced, uh, uh, shortened, uh, intensive uh, curriculum. So this is the, the uh, MAT elementary curriculum, and you can see it's, it's fairly intensive. Uh, you start in May, you end uh, this, this project, you'll turn in. 
uh, April 1st. Uh, you'll end the internship in the middle of April and, uh, and, and, and you're done with the MAT. And so you, you earn a master's degree, plus we recommend you for uh, a K-6 elementary license in uh, 11 months. The secondary curriculum is the same thing, uh, sa same general principles, only it's geared towards obviously um, your particular uh, field, whether that's mathematics or social studies or English language arts or, or foreign language. And, uh, but again, in both the undergraduate BSO as well as the MAT, the whole thing is designed for you to become the very best uh, teacher that you possibly can be uh, can become. So um, uh, that's a little bit on the uh, curriculum. And I'll let uh, Dustin talk about uh, some fun uh, things about funding your transition to, to teaching, especially uh, for our veterans. Sure, so we talked about skill breaks already, being able to continue to receive your paycheck while you're doing your, your internship and really while you're going through the programs because they're all online and they're asynchronous, right? True Futures uh, program has uh, all kinds of all kinds of, of, of value to it and things that you can use. The GI, that should say, the true teacher should say um, the veterans and the GI Bill should say uh, veterans and family. That was my mistake there. So if, you know, if you have a family member or if you know people that have a family member that want to get into teaching, they can use that GI Bill as well. Student loan forgiveness uh, of 17000 500, the global campus scholarship that is $1,000 per semester. There's also all kinds of additional K-State scholarships along with national scholarships that you can apply for. And these are the types of things that, you know, we, we have somebody who works in our, in our local K-State office here, veterans office that can, that can assist you in help, helping sign up for these and apply for these along with student loans. And then also the state programs, uh, for example, the Kansas teacher service scholarships, which can be uh, 2, 000, uh, over $2,000 a semester. So, you know, th th there's the cost, there's the benefits you have, and then there's also those additional benefits on top of those. There's lots, uh, right now, there are lots of, of organizations and governments that are uh, willing to uh, fund uh, people who want to become teachers. I mean, uh, we need uh, teachers. And so um, we've I, even I, got folks, we've even got communities here that will, 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 that will f help you buy a home, school yeah. districts, uh, yeah. you know, that, because they, they want somebody to come and, and be a part of the community and be a teacher. Uh, when I, you know, you can, you can have part of your, if you're going for like the BSO and then you want to get a master's, some districts will help you pay for that. So the, the time is, is great right now to get into teaching for as far as for as many benefits as you can to, 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 for your education. Um, some frequently asked questions and then we'll, um, we'll wrap things up uh, for this uh, brief session. Uh, can, uh, can I continue working? And the answer is yes, most of our students do uh, continue to work. It's nice because both programs are asynchronous. Uh, when you get to student teaching, however, uh, then uh, you won't be able to continue to work. Student teaching is really a full-time job. And uh, so when, whenever the, the, those 12 Student teaching is typically 12, 13, 14 weeks, depending upon uh, how many uh, breaks there are in there, depending on whether it's the fall, sem fall semester or spring semester. Uh, but during student teaching, uh, you can't work. How do field experiences work? Well, we, we set you up. You get to choose whatever school it is that you would like to do your uh, field experiences. So maybe you're in Lexington, Kentucky, or, you know, uh, maybe you're in, uh, let's see, I was trying to think, of, I was in Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, uh, a couple times. I don't even know what town in North Carolina that was, why it's a Marine base. Uh, I was in the CV, so we did a lot of stuff with Marines, but, um, but you, you put down the schools that you want to work at, and then, uh, and by the way, we work with, um, with military schools too, uh, which is no problem at all. And then we uh, reach out and get a, a, a memorandum of understanding with those school districts. 
and um, and and uh, and we're able to give you, uh, you know, ninety five percent of the time we're able to give you your first choice uh, schools. Uh, you'll get a Kansas uh, teaching license, whether that's elementary or secondary. And again, once you have that Kansas teaching license, switching uh, from Kansas to some other state, Colorado, Nebraska, Missouri, uh, Wisconsin, whatever, uh, is much easier. Uh, so if you, cut, if you choose K-State and you're out of state, uh, you're not uh, just going to K-State to fulfill Missouri's requirements. No, you're going to K-State to fulfill Kansas's requirements and then transferring your Kansas license uh, to Missouri. We have people do it all the time, every year. Uh, dozens and dozens of people transferring their Kansas licenses to other states uh, all over the country. And again, we have specialists uh, on staff here uh, that will help you do that. You might have to do something in addition to your Kansas license. For example, in Louisiana, you might have to take a, you know, a Louisiana history test or something like that uh, to become certified in Louisiana. But um, and even while you do that, most states will recognize the Kansas license and let you, allow you to begin teaching with that Kansas license, uh, even if you're in Louisiana or Missouri or wherever you uh, happen to be. We've already mentioned that you can test into other secondary subject areas. And I just talked about uh, teaching in uh, other states. So uh, are there uh, any questions in the chat? There are not. Um, Dustin, what have we, uh, what have we failed to mention? I, I mean, I, I think that we've, we've pretty well hit the programs and, and sort of the options. The big thing would be is it looks like we have Catherine on if, if you would have any questions for us, uh, we sure would, sure would like to answer them for you. And again, if you uh, email me, tmonts at ksu.edu, uh, I will, um, I will send you a, um, um, uh, an application fee waiver. Um, so um, it's worth 65 bucks. Uh, Catherine, as someone who might be deployed up to six months of the year, does a pro, yes, we do uh, work uh, with um, overseas students and overseas uh, schools. And uh, in particular in, in DOD schools, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, absolutely, Catherine, we, uh, we, we, we do that all the time. We, we have students right now uh, that are uh, in overseas schools. We, we do, we, we, uh, Dr. Vaughn had mentioned earlier about all of the states we have. Um, you know, I've worked firsthand with you know, students who were, who were over in Italy. So uh, we really are global, you know, as far as the, the outreach and, and training folks to be educators. So, and we're going to work with you. I think that's the other thing is that, you know, it's one of those things that we're, it's not a, a black and white situation either. We are going to work with you because if this is something that you want to do, we, we're going to work with you and, and make it happen. I think um, that pretty much wraps things up uh, from here. And we've recorded this. And uh, so uh, we will uh, make this available to people who couldn't uh, make it tonight. And, um, and so I, I want to thank you uh, for attending uh, K-State's military webinar. And uh, from, uh, I'm actually in Morse Bluff, Nebraska right now from Morse Bluff, Nebraska. And Dustin, where are you signing off from? I'm in Manhattan. I'm, I'm in the, the K-State country here, so. K-State country there uh, from, from uh, Nebraska and uh, Kansas. We'll, we'll bid you uh, farewell and, uh, and hope to, to uh, hear from all of you soon. Take care.